Q&A. Umpisahan na natin ang fourth big placer. Ang kwelang fangirl ng Sarangani, we have Gian. Gian, she's with us sa Zoom. Hi, Gian! Ayan, wala lang tayong naririnig kay Gian ngayon, no? Uh, yan yun siguro, ayan. Hi po. Hi Gian, kumusta? Okay lang po. Ayan, sige. Ang dami kong gusto itanong sa'yo, pero uh, I will reserve, reserve that question to our friends from the media na kasama natin via Zoom tonight. Naku, hindi pa man din kayo totally nakakalabas sa bahay ni Kuya. May bagong hamon na naman kayo. Ang sagutin, ang katanungan ng ating mga media. And to ask our first set of questions, we have yeah. from whatsapp.ph, we have Michael Di Maayo. Michael, are you there? Hi, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi po. Hi Gian. Hi po. Uh, first, of, first of all, congratulations for winning the PBB Fort Big Placer. So, um, I have a question here. Um, uh, maraming nag-doubt sa'yo in, in the beginning of the season. Maraming nagduda if you can really um, prove yourself. But uh, now, kasama ka sa Big Four. Meron akong tanong. It's... Um, sa lahat ng ex-housemates, kanino ka pinaka na-challenge? Um, oh. Kanino ako pinaka na-challenge? Na- yes. Oh, ex-housemates. Um, siguro sa lahat ng ex-housemates, sa taong to, sa kanya ako na-challenge. And tong tao to is si Alisa. Thank you so Kasi, much. Go. Kasi um, super galing niya sa mga tasks and nakikita ko siya na magaling siya sa mga tasks kahit ako na nakalaban ko na siya sa mga tasks para nakikita ko sa kanya na super galing niya sa mga tasks. Yun. Thank you. Thank you po. Are you good, Michael? Uh, ah, yeah. yes po. Salamat, Michael. Um, Thank you. Michael Di Maayo of WhatsApp.ph. To ask our next question, we have uh, Marco Polo Demo of Kwento ni Toto. Marco, are you there? Good evening. Hi, congrats everyone. Hi, okay. The question for Gian is, eto, uh, ano yung isang bagay na pinagsisihan mo and naisip mo na sana hindi mo nagawa during the stay mo dun sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya? Ano yung nagawa ko? Um, siguro yung yung hindi ko pag speak up in yung hindi ko pag speak up in public yung hindi ako nagbibigay ng suggestions kasi parang yun yung naging kahinaan ko and yun, yun yung pinagsisiyan ko na sana ginawa ko na lang pero andito ako and super proud ako sa sarili ko na nakaabot ako dito kahit hindi ko man siya nagawa pero binubuhos ko na lang yun sa paggawa ng mga task. Okay, thank you. Thank you po. And salamat Marco. And for next question, kasama naman natin from Stars Photo, we have Kuya Alan Sancon. Kuya Alan? Ayan, siguro while waiting for Kuya Alan, tawagin ko yung susunod, no? Um, mula naman sa ating kapatid sa One News PH at TV5, we have Von Belinario. Von, are you there? Yeah, hello. Hi, Bo. Hi, Gian. Mayang gabi. Hi, Congratulations. Ayan. Gian, um, anong pakiramdam na Um, nagbukas ng ng um, na expose yung ano no yung sitwasyon ninyo sa Malapatan sa Rangani doon sa naging ano am um, hindi pagkakaunawaan ninyo ni Justin parang nagbukas yung nabuksan sa sa publiko sa media nagkaroon ng exposure yung kakulangan ng lugar ninyo sa tubig at ngayon natutugunan na ito nagkakaroon na ng pag-uusap at proyekto yung LGU ninyo para matugunan yung problema ninyo sa tubig at na-expose yon dahil sa mga kinwento mo at binahagi mo dito sa wow. PBB. Super, ano po, super saya ko po nung alaman ko po ngayon kasi yun po talaga yung problema po namin, yung 
wala po kaming tubig doon kahit minsan hindi po kami nakakaligo. Pero yun po, ang saya ko po nung nalaman ko kasi matutugunan na po yung problema ng, ng probinsya po namin. Magkakaroon na po ng maayos na tubig po yung malapatan po. Ayan. Oo, ayan. Oh, thank you and congratulations, Gian. Thank you po. And salamat si Phone Belinario of One News PH at TV5. For our next question, we have from TV Patrol, we have Miss Daniel Krishnan. Daniel? Hi, hi, Justin. Hi, everyone. Congratulations. Hi. Um, hello, hello. I'm very excited to talk to you guys. Um, wait lang, ano, <laughs> wait lang, ano, wala yung... All right. Sure, Daniel. I have to open my... Okay. Here you go. All right. This is um this is a question for all of you guys. Um, first of all, of course, congratulations. But I also want to know, um, how was it? Um, how was your stay? Sa in sa bahay ni Kuya. Was it difficult? Was it fun for you? Just give me. Kung ano lang yung ano nyo. Yung naging experience, of course. Oh. Yun, yung pagstay ko sa bahay ni Kuya is um, halo-halo siya, um, mahirap, mag, mahirap yung mga task and then super funny siya kasi marami kang makakasamang mga tao. Pero yun, super ganda yung pagstay sa bahay ni Kuya kasi kahit mahirap yung mga task, parang dahil kasama mo yung mga housemates, parang na, 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 natatabunan siya kasi parang kahit mahirap, nagtutulungan pa rin lahat, nagkakaisa and yun, super funny na magstay sa bahay ni Kuya kasi parang lahat kami naging isang pamilya. All right. Um, who's next? Yeah. Um, the stay. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, staying in the house of Kuya definitely wasn't. It definitely wasn't easy, but it was really fun. I really enjoyed the challenges, even though they were mentally, physically hard. They taught me a lot of things and. Even though you have a hard time doing a challenge and you feel like you're alone, you're never alone because your housemates would always be there for you. And um, yeah, it was just a mixture of um, challenges and fun. So I really enjoyed my stay in uh, the house of Kuya. All right. How about Andrea? Um, for me, po, na yung journey ko dito sa bahay ni Kuya was a roller coaster ride of emotion. Sobrang daming pagsubok. Ang daming may hirap na challenges as in ilang beses ako umiyak dito sa bahay ni Kuya pero alam ko po na sobrang worth it. Ang dami kong natutunan and most of all may nabuo akong may nabuo akong pamilya dito sa bahay ni Kuya at ayun yung mga housemates. Of course our big winner. Uh, para sa akin po uh, mahirap siya pero Sobrang daming natutunan po namin sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya kasi lahat po ng mga hamon ni Kuya natagumpayan man namin o bigo po ay lahat po, lahat po ng task ni Kuya po sobrang daming makukuhang aral po sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. At yun po, uh, maliban doon, uh, sobrang saya kasi unexpected na pamilya ang makukuhang um, matatagpuan sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya. Sobrang lahat kami po nagko-connect-connect po. Grabe, yun po. Leo for again, congratulations. But I also want to ask, tuwing lumalabas sa bahay ni Kuya yung mga housemates, um, diretso showbiz career sila eh. Are you guys also into that? May kita ba, Justin, pwede ko na ba silang tanongin tungkol sa, sa magiging showbiz career? Are you guys game? Na... Of course, umarte na rin on television. Go ahead, Daniel. Sure. So yeah, are you guys game na umarte na rin ulit sa television? Yes po. Gusto ko pong subukan kasi nagiging fan girl, nagiging fan girl po ako ng mga artista. Gusto ko rin pong masubukan yung feeling ng ganon and gusto kong makasayaw sa asap tsaka kumanta. Yan po. Alright. How about Leo for... Um, ako po, kung may opportunity man, siyempre po, gustong gusto kasi pangarap ko din po. Yeah, yun po, i-grab ko na po kung meron man. How about Kobe? Um, yes po, if I was able to 
get the opportunity, I would definitely grab it. Um, it's been my dream since I was a kid. So um, if ever I got the opportunity, I would definitely grab it. But Kobe, are, are you also game to um, are you also game to learn more about the Galog um, language, like <laughs> Filipino language? Because, oh. ano, sabi ko na talaga dito na talagang Filipino ang gamit nila. Are you also game to do that? Opo, syempre naman. <laughs> um, I really want to learn more Filipino. Um, I'm definitely gonna, yeah, after this, I'm definitely gonna like, um, learn more Tagalog and um, hopefully I'm gonna be fluent soon. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Justin, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ginyal Christian of TV Patrol. All right, before I call on kung sino yung uh, susunod na magtatanong, babalik lang ulit tayo kay Gian. No? Bibigyan lang natin sila ng spotlight yung bawat isa sa kanila. Um, I understand that Gingel had to ask everyone because um, ipafile na to agad-agad sa teleradyo. But um, for our next question for Gian, we have John Michael Bueno of uh, Kumagao. JM, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Um, good evening, um, guys. Uh, I'm sure uh, you, you guys are really, really... Um, excited about what's going to happen with your careers and stuff. Now, uh, ask Muna, if you were to be a part of an MMK episode, because I'm sure that's one of the things that you look forward to, that your story will be told in an MM, in, uh, MMK uh, show, um, who would you like to portray as you in the show? And aside from that, my second question is, Kung isang uh, kung may isang pagkain na hindi niyo nakakain sa loob ng bahay ni Kuya, ano ito and what are you most excited to eat now that you're outside? Ako ba to? Ako. Um, sa inyong apat. Oh, ano ba? Um, siguro kung magkakaroon man ng isang ay magkaroon man isang um tungkol sa buhay about sa MMK, gusto kong magportray sa 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 kwento ng boy ko ay si ano dahil bata pa ako. Gusto ko rin si ano si Loisa Andalio. Wow. Or All si right. Catherine. Wow, why not? Of course. Uh, and how about you Andrea? Um If someone were to portray my story mm -hmm. sa MMK, um Siguro um, Catherine Bernardo kasi, kasi or Liza Sobrano kasi nakikita ko na sobrang galing po nila umarte. Napaka um, dedicated nila sa industry na to. And I know na mag, when sobrang re-respetuin nila yung kwento ko pag sila po yung nag-portray. That's nice. How about you, Kobe? <laughs> Um, to be, <laughs> maybe Edward Barber or Bailey May, and I say Bailey May because he has a British accent. <laughs> mm. So, are, are you from the UK? Any place in particular? Um, yes, I'm from Manchester, and I think Bailey is from Norwich, so it's kind of, kind of near, so kind of the same accent. Yeah, <laughs> and you've got the better football club, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> football, so I All think right. Bailey. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about you, Leah? For who would you want to portray you uh, in an MMK episode? Uh, sa akin po, um, ang gusto ko po ang magportray sa akin si ano po si Jericho Rosales po. Kasi so mm -hmm. idol na idol ko po yun. Then sobrang galing din na actor po. Yun po. Okay, and then my second question is about the most favorite thing that you would want to eat now that you're outside uh, the PBB house. Anong gusto mong kainin una, Leofer? Siguro po, uh, dito po sa paglabas po, sa outside world po, ang gusto ko po ang kainin yung mga ano po, uh, Luto siguro ng nanay ko po kasi miss na miss na, na po yung mga luto nila. Yung bola-bola ng nanay ko masarap na masarap po. <laughs> wow. Okay. How about you, Gian? May gusto ko bang kainin? Uh, yes po. Yung tulad din po niya yung luto ng papa ko kasi 
paggulay po, ng pagluto po ng papa ko, nasasarapan po ako kahit dito, hindi ko po minsan kinakain. <laughs> Pero pagluto niya po, parang ang sarap po pag nakakain po. Mm. How about you, Andrea? Yung kakainin ko po pagkalabas ko dito is yung garlic buttered shrimp po ng mom ko. Because she makes the best garlic buttered shrimps talaga. And sobrang na-miss ko yung luto ng mama ko. Same with sila Gian and sila Leo Firpo. That's nice. Uh, how about you, Kobe? I'm sure it's not fish and chips. Uh, no, but uh, me and Chico <laughs> actually talk about this all the time. When we're in the house, what food will we eat first when we get out of here? And I yeah. always say... Um, I want banoffee pie from this from this place. Banoffee pie or just a, a really big pizza. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm sure your folks will prepare everything for you once you get home. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ayan, gaya nga muna nabanggit ko kanina, no, we'll, um, we'll give each of them yan, their moment para matanong.